Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about why I think these Africa summits are quite humiliating. Now I want to take as an example the Ghana's president who I appreciate and who I've made multiple videos praising. But today I want to criticize him and some of the African leaders. Now from the summit, one good thing came out of it and I'm going to make a video of it this week. But, but let me show you a clip of Ghana's president talking about the changes in Africa and he's telling other African leaders basically stop begging. I hear a lot about the need to change our narrative and tell our own good story. Ladies and gentlemen, as the saying goes, nothing succeeds like success. If we work at it, if we stop being beggars and spend Africa's monies inside the continent, Africa would not need to ask for respect from anyone. We would get the respect we deserve. Let us make our continent the prosperous and joyful place it should be, and the respect would follow. I thank you for your attention. One thing that African leaders excel more than anyone else is giving excellent speeches. And I agree with everything he said, and it's good that he's saying this out loud. But this is the problem. First of all, you are speaking to other African leaders. This speech wasn't for the West. You are telling other African leaders to stop begging. You are telling them that let's improve our own continent. You didn't make a speech telling US that, hey, work with us on this, work with us on that. When Joe Biden was speaking, he didn't talk about, oh, US will stop this and US will be amazing and let's improve US. No, he talked about the relationship between Africa and US and what US can do for Africa what Africa can do for US. That's the Joe Biden speech. What you are talking about is totally different. You are speaking to other African leaders. And in my opinion, this speech should have been given in the meeting of the African Union. Also, these are words. There are no actions behind it. What's your plan to implement this? So this speech should have been given in an African Union meeting. And another thing is that you can say that we'll stop begging. You can say that we're going to improve our continent. But this is the thing. Your actions speak louder than the words. All of these African leaders, about 45 African leaders, traveling all the way to US from their own continent to meet one man, to see what he can offer them. By definition, your actions are sort of begging and everyone can see who has the power. If I can make 50 people travel to me, who has the power, me or them? Of course, it's me. I am the most important person because you are traveling to meet me. Me personally, I believe that Ghana's president, he should go to US when he's dealing with US issues. If he wants to improve the relationship between Ghana and US, he should go to US and meet them one on one. But these African summits are very humiliating because all these African leaders are traveling to China, to Russia, to US, to Europe. In the last two years, there's been like dozen different Africa summits. Next year, even India will have African summit and all our leaders are going to travel to India to meet the Indian president. It's humiliating. Why don't you do it the other way around? Why don't you have one Africa summit in the continent of Africa? I know it sounds crazy, but why don't you have an African summit in Addis Ababa, where the African Union headquarters is, in Nairobi, in Dakar, in Cairo, in wherever? You can have it in different locations every year. And then you invite China, you invite Russia, you invite US, you invite the Europeans, you invite India, you invite all these world powers, and you sit them down and you tell them, what do you have to offer us? And then you can give this kind of speeches. And then you can tell all the world that, hey, what will you do for us? And then you are in a position of power and you are showing people that all these leaders are traveling to meet us instead of you always traveling to meet one person and take initiative because when Russia had their Africa summit, when China had their Africa summit or where US had their Africa summits, all of them are implementing their own agenda. They make the decision what would be discussed. They will make the decision on what topics are important. And all of those things will be based on their own needs. It won't be based on our needs. But if you have the Africa summit and you invite all these world leaders, then you can say that this is Africa's priorities. And how can you help us? And how can we improve our trade and whatever, right? 
but that's how it should be done. This is totally humiliating and your actions are showing weakness. And your actions are very submissive to all these world leaders. And it shows the mental weakness that our leaders have. I and mean, they do not understand why they need to put themselves in the position of power. They should be in the driving seat. Now, all our leaders are in the passenger seat. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please do remember to subscribe, like, share and comment.